Hope you're all still awake. Late Night Mega here. And we are over at the Viking hideout because we have to fix Mia. Uh, because since going back in time, we kind of undid, you know, the whole segment where we fixed her. So, yeah, I'm expecting this to take a, take a little while. So we're going to have to go through that gold palace again. I would, we're not going to have to fight... Gildiga can't exist, though, because we killed Mortigan before he could have done that. Uh, we have another side quest here dealing with the Vikings as well and their shipment of stuff that's supposed to go to Sniffelheim. Uh, so we have that to contend with while we're over here. Which is why I'm talking to all these Vikings. Because I'm looking for the Viking that's actually going to be useful. There's nothing... No sparkling spot back here? Okay. That's fine. Oh, yeah, here's the guy we want to talk to. And so what he's going to tell us is that, uh... The ship that was uh, bringing the goods back kind of got capsized to the north, uh, the island north of the world tree. So we're going to have to go there at some point. And then here's the chief. Do they... No, they don't. Okay. Well then, I guess, just, uh... Is there anything in here? No, no, this is just that jail cell. Okay, to the north it is. Before we go that way, though, is there something over at the edge of this land? We got some sprite bulbs here. Interesting place to put those. And we do have this. Oh, a Brighton Rock. It just brightens up my day. Yep, that was worth it. No, oh, hey there. And the door's shut. Oh, we triggered a cutscene. Okay. Before we go in, I, I want you to promise me something. Sure. That we'll fix your sister. On the other side of this door is someone very important to me. Yeah, we know. More precious than any treasure. I want you to swear you'll do everything you can to save her. Well, that was the idea. <sighs> okay, so we're not going to have to relive I've all those I've been drifting around scenes. the world for who knows how long when I bumped into this guy calling himself the Seer. He had a prophecy for me. He told me to go after the orb. That if I did, I'd meet the luminary somewhere deep underground. And that if I helped him, I'd finally be forgiven. Meet my little sister. What, is she not there? Did she go on to become an evil... Oh, no, she's there. Oh, okay. Mia. So I've been thinking. Now you've got the Sword of Light. Your powers are maxed out, right? Maybe you can use them to break the curse. 
So we had to fight Please. a boss to do that last it time. It might not work, but it's got to be worth a try. She might have been turned to gold, but my sister's still in there. Yeah, don't we have I a golden it. palace? Hmm. Or are we just gonna do... And yeah, we're just gonna do Luminary Powers Activate. Oh, this is gonna work. <gasps> and she's back. Uh, Eric? We get the happy music. <sighs> But I thought we were going to have to go through the Golden Palace. A dungeon. Fight a boss. I had the weirdest dream. I was so lonely and scared. But then right at the end, I felt happy. This wasn't supposed I to be this to easy. You. you saved me from the darkness. And what am I going to do the rest of this episode? I'm sorry, Mia. Forgive you. Ah, Eric found his Did forgiveness again. Forgiveness. The last part of the prophecies finally come true. Well, it didn't take like six episodes like it did in Act Two. You've helped me, so I'm sure gonna help you. I'm with you to the end, partner. Okay, so we'll talk to Mia. And she's upset because, you know, we undid all the treasure that she got, but we got a necklace for it. That's not the same cursed necklace, is it? Probably goes to Eric. That That's the same cursed necklace. Although I guess it's uncursed. Okay. Well, I guess that's that. Well, what about the Golden Palace? Let's go up here and check it out. Where, where's the Golden Palace? There's, there's no dungeon here. Well, okay then. Uh, seriously, what am I supposed to do the rest of this episode? I was planning on this taking at least an entire episode. Not, you know, have the entire Mia side quest thing wrapped up in eight and a half minutes. Uh, I guess let's go back to Sniffleheim City. We can talk to the, uh, the priest or w whatever person it was that, uh, you know, was sensing an issue with, uh, Mia. And we'll talk to them. And, of course, the pink dot has been removed. But I think it was right by this gate here. Not you. Yeah, this person. And she just kind of, you know, verifies that we've finished the task. And she's like, I was hearing some girl cry out, but now I don't hear that anymore. Okay. Well, then. Let's see, where else can we go? Phenomenon. Oh, I did mention there was another uh, side quest we had to do. Um, it's for five mini medals, so yeah, I'm, I'm not going to skip this one. 
It's Sweet Dreams. And we have... Uh, it requires Silvando to be pepped up because we have to use the snooze and bruise pep-up technique. In order to, Did I even mean to do this? I don't think I mean to do what I just did. Uh, but we need to do the pep-up technique on one of the Bongo Drongo guys in this area. Snooze and bruise. And kill it with that technique. Oh, I started inside the city and had to... Okay. I'm only half paying attention to the to the video that you're watching. Um, and, you know, I, yeah, I'm just going to show off what it is here that we have to do. And so in order to get the pep-up power, you have to get... Uh, it has to be Silvando specifically. And you have to get his Persecutor Knife skill. And then you'll unlock the pep-up power that you need. And I think it, yeah, it's Silvando that has to be pepped up for this. If it's Jace, we can fix that really quickly. Uh, I also want to battle this guy. I don't know if we battled these guys. Well, they're not that strong. Oh, you blocked her attack. Uh... Oh yeah, I'm pepping up Chase, just in case. I think maybe both of them have to be pepped up. Whatever. And then we're gonna show off this, uh, Kukrackle. That is a lot of damage. I like it. I guess uh, Rab's Kukrackle and... Um, was it Kazamel? Kind of complement or, or mirror Veronica's Kaboomal and, you know, being multi target hit everybody. And Veronica's Kasizzle. Is Kasizzle the, her best fire one? So that's kind of interesting. Alright, here we go with these guys. Uh, I don't know how much damage this will do. Okay, I guess Silvando has to initiate it. Wait, why did I flee from battle? Oh, I need to put a uh, knife on him. I think I could have done that in battle. Oh, whatever. Oh, you would have had to have a knife in his... You look really weird holding a knife, Silvando. Like, really, really weird. Like, you're not even Silvando anymore. Alright, let's try this again. Go with the practice. Shouldn't kill them. Okay. Uh, just hit that one. Call for backup. Don't do that. Okay, pep up power. And snooze and bruise. Oh, well, that did a lot of damage. Okay. Uh, hopefully that gives it to us. We're gonna Falcon Slash this guy. Now just slaughter him in one shot. And Serena. Yeah, that's the end of him. Score one for the good guys! Oh goody! Yeah, I like how Serena's kind of being obstructed by the uh, foliage there. <laughs> All right, who needs... Serena, do you have anything? Uh, 
Not really. Okay, and we get the message saying that we completed that, so now we have to go back to Phenomenon. And first I'm going to fix my lineup again. Also, somewhere along the lines, I'm going to start getting uh, Hendrik and Silvando pepped up for because we have to go to the King's Barrow, and there's very few things we need to do before then. There are a few more side quests that I want to uh, get out of the way. But yeah, other than that, we've got that stuff, the King's Barrow, and then... Uh, then I think after that, we're going to end up going to see Serenica. And finally advancing the main plot here. Oh, wait, maybe I should go back to Nautica and see if they need anything. I just thought of that. Actually, I don't think I'm going to be able to do that at the moment. I have to do that later. Okay, so now I'm looking for the side quest kid. There we go. And she's going to verify that. And there's our five mini medals. Okay, so now that we have all these mini medals, we're going to go back to the mini metal academy. And we're going to see... I hope this is going to be enough to get something. Although I don't know what all we're going to get. I don't even remember what the next thing is. It's been so long since we've been to uh, Mini Metal Academy. And yeah, we're just going to do this all on camera. Um, I mean, I could chop up some of these traveling segments, but the traveling segments aren't that long. And uh, chopping them up and having multiple segments, we're going to have a bunch of segments in uh, the next episode where I do chop up a whole bunch of things. I don't like doing that as much for PS4 um, Let's Plays, just because it, it becomes a little bit more to edit, uh, sticking all those parts together and then trying to remember when I chop them up so I can commentate accordingly. Okay, we got 15. Oh, hey, that got us this. Glamour gear for go -er getters I don't even care about that stuff. Okay, do we have enough to make it to the next one? Oh, we have exactly enough. Uh, Erdwin shit. Um, pardon me? Why did you have that? 110, making things for Metal Kings. Okay, that's, so that sounds like it'll let us craft the Metal King. Yeah, probably like Metal King Sword, Metal King Gurate Sword, Metal King Jacket. We can already craft or buy at least the uh, Metal King armor in it. Maybe the helmet would be nice. To craft some more of those. I don't know where I'm going to get 10 more mini medals, though. Uh, though going through these side quests, there is one side quest that I still can't even accept yet. So I guess I have to advance the main plot a little bit more, and then I'll be able to accept that. And, oh yeah, Erdwin Shield here. It, um... It, it blocks only... Oh, I have another side quest. I, I, do, I do split this up a little bit. Uh, another side quest, we have to fight one of these... Uh, the guy on the right. He's a rare version of this guy. We are in the Galapolis? No, not Galapolis. The South Hato Whale Station. That's where you'll find this, this guy. And I'm also trying to get Hendrik and Silvando pepped up. So that's why they're in this battle. I've actually been attempting that for a few minutes now. 
Yeah, I was running all around the Hado step, looking for these guys, and I am not finding them. And yeah, there's a side quest we have to do to get uh, Apollo's axe for Hendrik. That was interesting. Yeah, there we go. This guy's actually going to have a lot of health. Um, so yeah, while I'm battling him, uh, I mean, Erdwin's shield, it does only protect against dark, fire, and ice, but it's a 25% reduction in those uh, elements, as opposed to, like, was it 10% that I had for the other shield? The same shield that Hendrik has right now. And we have more defense, and we regain 10 MP at the start of every turn. That is cool. That is really cool for him. Uh, which means we could, like, just start spamming Quadra Slash and recovering almost all the MP, you know, between ending a battle and getting a turn. That's kind of crazy to think about. I like it, though. That kind of hurt. This guy's almost dead. Of course, when he blocks my attacks. Uh, let's heal up Hendrik, because he can't be pepped up if he dies. Yeah, well, we got the guy. Oh, we get a gold bar. Those could become useful. And we have to go back to Heliodor. Oh, that reminds me. I know what else we're doing next time. We're going to do... We're going to do that Wisdom of the Warrior King because we have a few books to uh, read on that. We found one of the books already by Phenomenon. And one of them is going to be in Heliodor. So since we're going back to Heliodor to turn in this quest, it seems normal to, uh, you know, start start the next episode by looking for that book and then we have to go to Sniffleheim region uh, to get that to get the other book and then the fourth book is it in Hado? I think it's in Hado no it's in Galapolis it's in Galapolis. I know, I know where it is. I looked up where the books were off camera because I wasn't going to just spend hours off camera searching for these books, and then uh, coming back and showing you where they were. The, now, we have better things to do than read books. Uh, so we're going to get the Apollo's axe here, and then we have a couple more side quests we're going to solve in the next episode. I think. Well, we'll see. Actually, yeah, we'll do that. We'll do the wisdom. And then we have the legendary treasure of legend. We're going to do that one. And we just did might is right. And this we Yeah, so we're going to do those two side quests and then we're going to do the king's barrow. Uh, those will be covered in the next episode. And Apollo's axe not impressive. Okay. Well, that is all for me for now. And, uh... Yeah, I'll see you guys next time.